Okay, so the last time I did one of these, I was talking about the uh, lack of representation in movies. That was about two years ago. And since then, we have gotten so many movies with people of different races on the screen. I mean, it's like, it's pretty awesome. And 2018 was like, just a start. I legit can't wait to see what we get next down the road. Preferably, if we can just get Idris Elba to play James Bond, that would be perfect. This morning, I got the opportunity to go over the Oscar nomination list for 2018. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy with the Academy selection this year, except for one thing. Black Panther was nominated for best film, along with uh, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, A Star is Born, and Vice. Now, the rest of those movies are pretty much your typical Oscar fare. Out of all those movies, Vice and Black Klansman are probably my two favorites. The only one I have a problem with is Black Panther. Now, I know it's a widely beloved movie, and as someone who cares about representation in movies, Black Panther is exactly what we needed. But this movie doesn't deserve an Oscar. It didn't do anything new, and it definitely didn't do anything bold. I mean, the story was good, but we've seen it before. Trust me, and I think the two things it does deserve an Oscar nomination for is probably best music and maybe costume and set design, but that's it. I won't even give it best visual effects because I think Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was better than Black Panther in that category. Heck, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a better movie than Black Panther overall. Okay, so the way I break down all my entertainment is very simple. I do it with three categories. Story, characters, and entertainment value. Story is always a big one because it is the overall narrative that is going to keep you engaged in the medium. Um, the actors portraying the characters in the movie are another factor because you could have an awesome story, but if the acting is terrible, it's gonna completely ruin the story. And then finally, there's the overall entertainment value, which speaks for itself. I mean, if a movie makes you feel something, then I definitely consider it to be an Oscar worthy contender but if it's just a movie that is simply made to entertain you then that's all it is it's just going to entertain you you watch it then you forget about it you move on with your day when it comes to a movie like black panther it actually does manage to leave an overall message with you when you walk out of the theater overall the narrative is entertaining and fun ride i mean the music the atmosphere the world building is fantastic the cast is really well rounded uh, all these newcomers like chadwick bosman and lupita and then you got the huge heavyweights like angela bassett and, and uh, forrest whitaker with martin freeman and andy circus i mean come on so black panther checks off two of my requirements for an oscar worthy movie but the one requirement it does not meet is the story. The engaging and complex narrative of all the other Oscar contenders this year completely overshadowed Black Panther's simplistic story. And as I said before, you've seen this story before. A lot of critics like to compare Black Panther to The Lion King. And yes, there are similarities between The Lion King. But when I watched Black Panther, I immediately noticed that this movie was like um, Marvel's previous movie before this, Thor Ragnarok. They both follow the story of a royal family who, that made mistakes in their past that returned to haunt them in their future. And for Thor, it was a long lost sister. For T'Challa, it was a long lost cousin. And in the end, both of them attempt to correct the mistakes of their fathers by leading their respective nations to a new future. It's nothing new. Disney follows a formula. That's why they're so successful. To me personally, I believe that filmmaking shouldn't be a formula. No art should be a formula. All the other Oscar nominees were nominated because of how their films were innovative in the way that they told their story. Their stories are original. The dialogue is sharp and well-written and the editing is unexpected. It's not something you normally see when you watch a movie. I know most people dislike the Oscars because they think the films are overrated. I disagree. They do a pretty good job when it comes to selecting films, especially when it comes to best films. I would also like to convey that Disney is the first company to really capitalize on this whole diversity train. That's why more studios are moving toward it this year. I think when it comes to selecting best film, we need to approach it with a more appreciative stance of its filmmaking qualities. Don't use our diversity as a marketing tactic to earn a nomination. I mean, come on, Disney. I just, I just, I don't buy it. To me, it just doesn't seem genuine to do that.